Well, joining us first thing this morning from the Marshall University Speech and Hearing Center, we have speech language pathologist Mona Sanders. Mona, thanks for coming in. No problem. Thanks so much for having me today. Yeah, and Mona, talk a little bit about what a speech language pathologist does, especially in the context of working with kids. And I know we were talking uh, before because it's interesting mm -hmm. to hear how kids' speech does develop. Mm -hmm. Sure. So a speech language pathologist or an SLP is someone who specializes in communication. Mm -hmm. So they help infants all the way to adulthood develop communication skills for everyday living. So we work on speech, language, cognition, and even feeding and swallowing disorders. Oh my goodness, okay. And it's been a while for me since I had little ones. What are some of those major milestones that we should be watching for that the, the kids develop everything? Great question. So when we think about language development, it kind of happens in phases. Mm -hmm. So in infancy, we're looking for that cooing and babbling. Oh, okay. And then when they're toddlers or early learners around one, they should have one true word by their first birthday. Okay. By the age of two, we're looking for them to start to combine words. So two years, two words, and then their language typically expands. So we're looking for them to develop a greater vocabulary of over 100 words by okay. three. What about, what should parents be looking for um, in case there is something yeah. difficult happening if with this their isn't happening Sure, there, because I know everyone develops differently. Everyone develops Every child a little bit different. differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. So some things to kind of look for are hallmarks are sometimes if they don't have vocabulary for common things within your environment, mm -hmm. um, they're hard to understand by others, or they're starting to be frustrated when they communicate. Mm. Those are some things to look for that you may want to reach out to your primary care physician or your pediatrician about getting in connection with pedi um SLPs in this area and there's plenty of providers that are yeah. in this area. That well talk to us about once we realize okay our child needs to see someone in your field an, an SLP how what is this relationship like and what are some of the things that you start doing from day one? Great question. So the biggest thing that we do with our families, especially within what we call the early intervention setting, which are our children who are like birth to three, okay. um, we work with the families and empowering them and teaching them strategies so that they can not only build their communication skills, but they feel empowered that they can do that within their home environment every day. Mm -hmm. okay. And why is that so important? Because I know some parents may not, you know, have any kind of knowledge beforehand yeah. of what goes into something like this, but that's why the speech language pathologists right. are like you are here to help. Right, so what our job is to not only just to teach the client, but also to teach the parents so that they can create multiple opportunities mm -hmm. throughout their daily environment. So mm -hmm. things that we may be thinking about or seeing within their routine that can help with language learning, we help to teach them and empower them to feel confident with that oh, at good. home so uh -huh. that they can do those things every day to help mm -hmm. promote language growth. Yeah, now you all have something coming up, uh, Language in Bloom. Yes. Yeah offered at Marshall. Yes. Tell us about it. So we are piloting a summer program, a Parent and Me program this summer at Marshall Speech and Hearing Center um, through the support of the OSHA Parent Education Program. Mm -hmm. We are able to offer this program at no cost to families. That's great. That's great. Uh, we have an afternoon session that's already full, so we're really excited about uh -huh. that. And now we're offering a morning session that we have some limited spots okay. for families. We're taking families birth to four. Okay. Um, it's the week of May 20th through the 23rd from 10 to 11:30, and it's an opportunity for families to come out and learn some strategies like we talked mm -hmm. about today that they can implement every day within their environment with their children. Oh, yeah, how, yeah, how do you register for this? That's a great question. So you can contact me via email at drake32 at marshall.edu mm -hmm. or call the Marshall Speech and Hearing Center and we'll get you signed up. That's great. Oh, yeah. And I know that um, I think a lot of parents, when they hear that their child may have a speech delay, they mm -hmm. think it might be the end of the world. Right. But really, at the end of the day, yeah. they're going to be fine. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think the biggest thing is education mm -hmm. about what's happening right now, identifying it, and what strategies can we promote and help you with to help facilitate that child's speech and language development. Mm -hmm. And that's great that you all are there helping yes. them on this journey. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. an exciting profession. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for stopping by no problem. and thank telling us about us. the yeah, things that you all it. offer and especially this uh, workshop coming up. Yes, thank you. Thanks, yeah. Mona.